Hi there everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today is probably the final time that I'm sitting down to listen to the Eurovision 2020 songs because I only have a few left. So I was thinking about just listening to the final ones today so I can finally catch up on, on everything I was missing last year. Uh, the one, the first one we're gonna be listening to today is called Universo by Blas Canto, I believe. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, it's from Spain, uh, and without further ado, I'm just gonna stop talking so we can listen to some music. That's a very magic-inspired opening. A lot of vocal effects going on here right away. It's a very staccato-inspired, you know, just the small plucks, but they're layered a lot, so... It's a very minimalistic approach here in the opening. Okay, piano's building in some energy here. It's... So far it's really simplistic approach, but... It's building somewhat here. We've got like a tambourine building some energy here. I'm feeling some... That impact did not have a lot of low end. Ooh. That was a bit piercing, the kick there... Mm. Okay. I'm liking the vocal side of things. Uh, nice tone in his voice. Uh, works well with this these small electric guitar parts here. And the soundstage is rather well put together here, I believe. With the strings, of course. We need to have them. And this is well sound designed here in the build-up. The kick is really restrained, along with this tambourine. <laughs> it's these really wide sweeping pad chords. Layered with the electric guitar, but I feel like the percussion in the chorus is rather on the weak side. Especially like the snare is, um, it's not giving me anything really. You know, it just comes off a little bit weak in that sense when the chorus actually hits, which is a disappointment because I do believe they have the potential to make it more hard hitting. This transitional part here is rather slow moving. Got a very high falsetto note, that's nice. I just don't think the instrumental is really backing him up to... The melody is catchy enough. I, th I really think the melody is rather catchy here. And this chanting backing vocal is also quite nice. Okay, um, that was Universo from Spain. Um, yeah, this was... This was different from, from the songs we've heard from Spain over the last few years, isn't it? Um, but it it had a little bit of both, I would say. Um, I do think that majority of the melody work in this song is, is rather nice. It has a lot of great intonation. Uh, I do like the vocal like the vocal tone that, that Blas here has. Uh, it works well. I do like the, the usage of the electric guitar. It's very... Uh, kind of glossy in the whole soundstage, which works well with everything surrounding it. Um, the verses have a, a kind of a warm and maybe a little bit even like vintage laid uh, instrumentation in that sense, combined with this really modern uh, uh, drum machine and uh, these, I don't know, like the sweeping chords that constantly cr tries to create a pulse uh, in the song. There's a little bit of a, of a mixture of, of approaches there, which I, which I quite enjoy. Um, and as I said, the melodies are, are rather solid throughout. I think the chorus is, is really catchy. It's well put together. Uh, I mean, the chord progression is 
just repeated over and over and over again throughout the song without a single change. But it's you know it is what it is. They've they've haven't focused on that, and instead they've tried to work it to you know create a, a solid pop song around this uh, this chord progression that they that they keep going with. Um, and I think they they've done pretty well with the melodies. Uh, in terms of you know production quality, it's solid in in the verses. I think it it has a nice approach. It has a good sound design, uh, and it's got like I think the mixing work is pretty solid in this. I just don't like the approach of the chorus. Uh, what they've tried to do with it because it's not very impactful at all. It's um, rather dry drums. I think in general, like all of the percussive elements that they put into the song. They feel quite dry. They feel quite weak, feeble. They don't come across very convincingly. And when you try to kind of create this energetic kind of pop anthem chorus, you know, you even have the backing vocals trying to create that vibe in it. Uh, and then you kind of don't back it up with, with drums that can really uh, match that energy. And I think it's a massively missed opportunity. Um, I think this, the snare is like, non-existent in its power level uh, in that sense and I just think that the kind of drum beat that they've gone for is a bit static and just the sounds I think are the general uh, are the general issue for me the kick is not very convincing at all it, you barely notice that it's there there's a lack of you know just low frequencies in general in the in the chorus with bass notes and such they don't really pulsate and the and it's weird because they kind of do in the verse and in the build up you have that kind of low end uh, constantly moving around and this pulsating kind of bassy uh, atmosphere but in the chorus it just loses me I, I i don't get that feeling at all anymore in that part and that's a big shame um so those are really my key points that i'm going to take with me from this one it, it's it has parts that I really enjoyed, and then uh, I think it's it's unfulfilled potential really for Spain this time around, which is a, which is a shame to see. Um, but yeah, that's really how I feel about this one. So now I want to hear now I want to hear what everyone else has to say about Universo here. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what everyone uh, has to say on this one. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Uh, other than that, I will see you in the next one, and uh, take care until then. Bye-bye.